them on the web at crowngroupohio.com. Ohio license number 27133. This is your drive time traffic update on Canton's Morning News. All right, traffic and weather brought to you by Crown Heating and Cooling, family-owned and operated, serving the residential and commercial heating and cooling needs since 1960. Right now, it is very quiet on the roadways this morning, but we know we'll be seeing more visitors heading in as the week progresses. So uh, just be prepared for that. But as of today, you're in pretty good shape. Give us a call on the traffic tip line, 330-450-1480. Canton's severe weather station. Stick with us. Now, the 1480 WHBC AccuWeather forecast. Well, according to AccuWeather, we'll see some clouds and maybe a shower or thunderstorm today. Very humid, a high of 81. Thunderstorms tonight and uh, mostly cloudy and humid, low 68. Tomorrow, a mixture of clouds and sun, a chance for a thunderstorm and a high of 88. And same thing for Thursday with a high of 89. Right now, 71 degrees on your severe weather station, 1480 WHBC. Well, it is one of the busiest weeks in the city of Canton. And, of course, it's the first time this mayor is going to be leading the way for the enshrinement festivities. He's almost on the injured reserve. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Good morning, Mayor Bill Shearer. How are you? Good morning, Pam. How are you? Doing well. Good, doing well. Good, good. Excited for everything. How about you? I'm I'm excited. I'm pumped up for Hall of Fame. Yeah. It's going to be my first Hall of Fame as mayor, and uh, got a lot of good, a great time for her to showcase Canton, and yep. a lot of good stuff going on. And get to attend the the events, and you get like front row everything, so yeah. that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> And involve your family, right? Absolutely. I'm looking forward to the parade. I'm going to have my grandkids in the car with me. That's, you know, really looking forward to that. And, you know, we did the community parade yeah. last weekend. And, uh, no, with the, you know, there's exciting, exciting stuff coming up, that's for sure. Yeah, I think probably one of the things that, you know, I mean, obviously all the events are so wonderful. But when you start get, seeing the people from out of town, even when the, the uh, Hall of Famers do their walk from the hotel down to Centennial Plaza for yeah. the picture, um, you know, Billy and I were walking and there were people from out of town walking along with us. They even say things to you like, well, is this that or, you know, they're so amazed at what happens in Canton. Yeah. For the events, you know. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, really looking forward. When you think about the thousands of people that are going to be coming into town, and this is our chance to shine at what Canton's all about. Yeah. And Nobody does it this way. Uh, no, no other Hall of Fame does it this I way. Agree. That's for sure. So. All right. Well, let's catch up on what's going on uh, within the city. Last time you were here, we had talked about the Civic Center and getting things you know, all taken care of there. Where does that stand? So last night, council finalized. Uh, we terminated, council had to approve terminating the 90-year lease with the county. So we actually own the land underneath the Civic Center. And we also entered into an agreement with Arts and Stark where we terminated the sublease, which we own the land all the way around. So whenever you build, you can't build over a lot lines. So we're free and clear to make the renovations that we need to. Good. And we're closing on the Arby's probably tomorrow. Oh, nice. So we're definitely looking to make some major renovations to the Civic Center. I'm really looking forward to it. And getting some more parking and that kind of thing, and too, absolutely, right? And absolutely. That, that's some of the things that you had mentioned yeah. about, like with the Arby's building, right? Yeah, and, yeah, we're going to demo the Arby's, and now we're going to save what we can save, you know, as far as the restaurant equipment for, for the Civic Center and Blake. And yeah. um, But I'm really looking forward to making those renovations. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. I like I like to be able to see all that happening and um, you know, bringing that back to the way it should be and people, you know, and using it. We're already doing it in, in certain respects, but. Well, we've had a great relationship with Arts and Stark, and we're looking to maintain that. Um, Mo, the new director, she's doing a fantastic job. Blake's already working with Mo to see how we can collaborate and have events together. And if we can be successful, why couldn't they be successful? Right. So Yeah, it's a yeah. great, great collaboration. Um, also, land reutilization program for the city of Canton. So currently the city has about 2,200 lots that, you know, houses that the city has demoed over the years. And we're paying the services, you know, these lots, mowing and every everything. <clears throat> currently we have about nine contractors that most of the city's ever had mowing these lots. And we're looking to get rid of these lots quicker and cheaper. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, if somebody had to pay market rate, they may not be able to afford like $3,900 for a lot. 
but maybe they may, may be able to afford like 1200 mm-hmm. So if somebody wanted a bigger yard or wanted to, you know, put a garden in or you know, a bigger yard for their kids to play in, and these lots are not going to be big enough to build on. So we're going to look to come up with a quicker way to get rid of them. Oh, great. So that'll utilize a lot of stuff, and that's another kind of thing that revamps the neighborhoods, yeah, right? and it's all tied into the neighbor- neighborhoods, absolutely. Yeah, gosh. Yeah. See, it's all coming around, I'll tell you. <laughs> and and you're going to have um, you're going to have these town hall meetings, so to speak. Is that what we're calling them, the town hall meetings? Yes, we're looking to do five town halls. Um, August 20th is going to be at the Peel Coleman Center. September 5th will be at the J. Babe Stern Center. September 26th will be at Malone University. October 8th will be at Madge Utes in north, the Northeast End. And October 22nd would be in the One Center in downtown. And really trying to promote the neighborhood plan and the comprehensive plan and, and the path moving forward with redeveloping the neighborhoods one block at a time. And so you'll have the town hall meetings and you want people to come to those to express like their thoughts what they want to see is that how it works well we want input from the, you know from the public but we're also going to have all the department heads there you know our safety forces that way after you know we have a discussion and get input about you know the neighborhoods that if any of the residents would have questions whether related to department that you know the department heads can be there to answer their questions okay so it'll go both ways yeah. that'll be that's yeah. that's very good very yeah. good so um you grew up in canton so Talk about what was your favorite Hall of Fame event as as a kid. Uh, usually, I think it was probably the Hall of Fame game. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You and William. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll go back in the day when they used to let you in at halftime for free, and that was a long time ago, right? <laughs> a really so, long time. Yeah. A really long time yeah. ago. Now, I really look forward to going to the Hall of Fame game in Old Fawcett Stadium and uh, mm-hmm. just, you know, fond memories and, you know, grew up in this town. And the Hall of Fame Museum will always be the identity for Ken. Yeah. It for will. sure, it for will. sure. It will. I said, uh, JT and I were talking um, on Friday. I was out at the Balloon and <laughs> Balloon uh, Classic, which was such a fabulous um, result that so many people were there. But um, I was talking to him, and he asked me on the air what was my favorite event in 35 years, you know. And I said, mine doesn't exist. It was always the mayor's breakfast was always my yeah, favorite. Yeah. Because it was just the jackets, that, the gold jackets. It was centered on that. and. I always enjoy that. It was just always a, a fun event. but um, No, it's, it's going to be unique. I'm going to be speaking at the fashion show, speaking at the Gold Jacket Dinner and the unscripted, you know, and tailgate, and uh, yeah. really looking forward to that. And, it, I mean, it's it's truly an honor for me, for a kid that grew up in this town, you know, and right. just always, you know, been a Browns fan and just, you know, yep. to have the opportunity to be on stage with, you know, some of the greatest that ever played in the game is truly an honor. Yeah, when I first came here, I couldn't believe, you know, going to the Gold Jacket Dinner and seeing these people yeah. that I just idolized, you know. Yeah. Um, I just, it's ama- it's an amazing feeling, yeah, pretty I'd proud. I'd also like to give a shout-out to the 4,500 volunteers, you yes. know, from, from the Chamber, the Hall of Fame, all the city employees that helped out, you know, you know, trying to get everything ready for, you know, the events this week. And yeah. uh, everybody really did a fantastic job. And it's kind of it's kind of ironic. My 25th anniver- wedding anniversary is this week. Huh? See there. And so what? A, what you're yeah. taking your wife to a prime prime stuff, aren't well, you? And I also <laughs> want to wish my mom and dad. My mom and dad. In a couple of weeks, it'll be my mom and dad's 55th wedding anniversary. Wow! Congratulations yeah, to so, them. That's yeah, fantastic. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Well, so. a, a nice, good celebrating week ahead. So I know we'll all see you, uh, you know, in different locations as we uh, go through the great week and enjoy it. That's. Yeah. Um, we're looking forward to it. Absolutely. Yeah. And we will talk to you soon. Okay, Pam. Thanks. Thank you. Canton's Morning News with Pam Cook. If you missed one of our guests, get the podcast now.